Hi everybody, welcome back. I decided today would be the perfect day to start a video series that I've been planning ever since, well even before I started my channel. I discovered this particular video series um, art challenge thing from another YouTuber that I follow. I'll put her channel below so you can go check her out. On her channel she does a really fun challenge called Lucky Dips and what it is basically is a box of random art supplies. Maybe they're new, maybe they came from subscription boxes, maybe they're things that don't get used very often. And what she does is she throws them all in there and randomly picks out a certain number of items and then using those items she creates a little piece of artwork. And I thought that was such a fun idea. I have supplies from pigment and palette boxes and art snacks boxes and a couple things that I've bought but have never really used very much and I put them all in a box and I'm going to do the same thing. Now the rules, this might change my next one but this is my first one so um, I'm just going to keep it pretty simple for the first one. I have put together a basics kit right here with just some couple paint brushes of different sizes, a sketching pencil, an eraser, and a sharpener. If I need a pencil to sketch or if I get paint and I'm going to need a paintbrush, obviously. So that is my basics staple box that I can use along with whatever I pull out. So I threw everything in this box here. I'm going to kind of show you what's in there. So a bunch, a bunch of really random things. There are a few items that are not in here because they're really big and well, they're not really big, but they're bulky and they wouldn't um, work very well in the box. So what I did is I took a couple of my Copic markers and threw them in the box. And then in my notebook, I made a list so that I knew which Copic marker goes with what item that isn't in the box. For instance, I threw in, well, maybe you'll see if I, if I pull one of them out. You'll see. I'm going to call this series The Luck of the Irish. It's kind of an inside joke because I have really lousy luck sometimes. I'm going to pessimistically say that the majority of things I pull out of there are going to be things I didn't want. Which is fine, that makes it really fun and adds to the challenge. I have a basic sketchbook that I'll be using for these challenge pieces. For this first one, I'm going to have five items pulled out and see what I can come up with those. My next Luck of the Irish challenge, I might change a few things, but we'll see how this goes first. So I'm really excited. I hope you enjoy this series. For my first one, I have brought help. They're too shy, so they're just going to show you how. <laughs> They're phantoms. Yes. I love the phantoms. The Irish kind. Too. The Irish kind. Very mischievous. But they're going to pick my doom. My doom out of this box. No, no peeking. No, no peeking. peeking. No peeking. No peeking. One. One. Not tissue paper. Two. Can I get one more? Yeah. Mm. We're going for five. Oh, five. Okay. Well, then you're going to have to pick one. So I'll pick one and they can pick two. I pick two. Oh, well, I'm gonna pick one. Okay. Ooh. Red marker. What did you guys get me? We got a green pencil. Ooh. Red and green. I don't know what this is. It's acrylic. Oh. Um. White paint marker. And soft pastel. Oh my gosh! Look at all these colors. Look at, look at all these colors. <laughs> I'm super excited about this one. Pastel. It's silver iridescent. Oh, and paint. Well, I got lots of color anyway. Okay, so we're going to do this. Thank you, Phantoms. Let's see what we can come up with these.
So this is the finished piece. And I'm not very familiar with pastels at all. So those areas, like the reeds over here and then the bottom of the head tail, I kept putting my hand in it and smearing it all over the place. But uh, yeah, it, it, turned out, it turned out a little different than I thought it was going to. You'll notice halfway through my video that I didn't like the way the tail was turning out. Just the idea I had wasn't working the way I thought it would, so I just decided to lay a bunch of color down on it instead and change that a little bit, and it turned out okay. The sil There is silver on there. Let me see if I can get it to... There we go. So it's got some silver highlights. I like his wing best. I don't know why. I wanted to use that white paint marker more to add some more detail into the tail. But I found out that pastels and paint markers do not mix well at all. When I tried to draw along the tail with that paint marker and even with the other marker that I had, the, the tips just picked up the chalky pastel and wouldn't lay down any ink at all. So they do not layer together well at all. I would not recommend using them that way. But I did manage to get a little bit of white up on the bird's chest and along the wing and to dot a few highlights on his back. So that's that and thanks for watching. See you again soon.